Hi, this is Robert. It's Sunday morning. Uh, what is this? Uh, June 27th and Washington is under a massive heat wave. I just got back from the supermarket. The heat wave basically just crashed our uh, local Safeway. All their freezers were overwhelmed and the food apparently got warm enough that they had to quarantine it. So, uh, <laughs> I wasn't able to get my usual uh, stock of frozen foods that keep me alive during the week, so it may be an interesting week. But anyway, I'm as you can probably see, I am on to the wiring stage of the uh, Nelson Pass F6 Class A amplifier. Yeah, let's see, I need a good poking or, uh, tool. Oh, we'll use this. Okay. So you can see I have the two terminal blocks in. These four hookups are uh, going to be where the those huge 10 gauge secondary wires from the transformers go in. Eventually, these are where the secondary wires will go in to the uh, rectifiers here. You can see rectifiers. And uh, you have a uh, plus side, negative side for each one and they're all going to go in on this side of the terminal block. Over here I have the AC wires. Here's the ground. Uh, here's our star ground. I have these uh, thermistors in there to hopefully reduce hum, but these will eventually get terminated and plugged into the back panel for the AC power and they run along the bottom of the amplifier. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, come up in the back. Now you notice I put tape on the uh, edges of the uh, base plate here and also on the risers. And this is important. I would recommend you do this, one, for your own personal safety but two, just in case to avoid any cuts that this stuff could make through the, uh, the insulation on your wires. We do have uh, equivalent uh, galvanized or what is this, zinc coated steel uh, bench frames at work and they're notorious for being sharp and people cutting themselves on them. So that's why you see the uh, electrical tape here, 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 and in back. So this is the primary side of the uh, transformer. So our AC wire is coming in from the power entry module on the back panel. And you see it goes in here. We have this capacitor across it. I think that's mainly there to protect the switch from uh, getting pitted. The power goes through these thermistors to give us a somewhat soft start and then the power comes out here hot and neutral going into the transformer these will actually be two stack sets of uh, terminals i'm using the ace hardware ring terminals for 22 to 16 gauge they're the red jacket ones they seem to work quite well they actually fit easily into this all of these yellow ones you see with the uh, larger gauge, I've actually had to file down. I don't know if you can see that, but they're, they're actually squared off in there. So let's turn this beast around. So as you can see, I have, I've already wired the inputs to the uh, filter banks up. And they come out the bottom here, and they're going to be dressed around this corner, which is why I was concerned about possible cuts and nicks in the wire insulation. And then they'll go, get my pointer again, they're going to go into the, the output of the rectifiers, the uh, pulsating DC as they refer to it. And they're on the outbound side of the uh, rectifier boards. So these are all going to swing around and dress like that. Hopefully I've make, given myself enough room for the wire. Maybe just barely. We'll see. 
Oh, that's sliding forward, so yeah. I think I have just enough wire. If not, take the whole thing apart, cut a new piece. Fortunately, I have two boxes of the wire here. I have two of the uh, 14s and one of the 16 gauge wire. But I wanted to get this wired in first and then hook up the uh, these, pardon me, hook up these connections next, then finally uh, mount these and wire these up to the uh, secondary terminal block. I think that's the only way I'll be able to uh, negotiate all the uh, working around the risers. Oh yeah, I need to mention, oh uh, boy, I have a bunch of talking points which I left upstairs. You may have noticed I'm using a, a skinnier uh, riser now. The risers I had before uh, were the, uh, I think, 160 by 180 or 150 by 180, and they actually stuck out either side of the uh, power supply board, the filter cap boards, and these don't, which give me uh, hopefully room enough to possibly tuck the wires under the board as we round that corner, uh, dress it closer. I'd especially like that on this side because we do have that close proximity with the uh, uh, t speaker terminals right there. But I'm thinking this is going to give me a lot more room uh, to where I'm not having uh, such an interference issue. So that's one point I need to mention. See, I've got my test points installed on the uh, filter cap boards for when we can power it up. I have I have elongated my mounting hole for the L bracket here. So when I mount the uh, transformer in here, it's just going to sit on this foam pad. I'm just going to push it all the way down. And that should eliminate any uh, clearance issues I might have with the top cover. As it was previously, it was so close I couldn't call whether it would contact the top cover or not. It looked very close. One other thing, I read the first hundred pages of the forums on DIY audio for the F6. One thing they mentioned is you just start with the bias pot set in their center position, not all the way down at zero, like I've set them. So uh, eventually I'll be cranking those back up to their middle position. Apparently it's it just saves time. I'll be powering this up on the uh, dim bulb tester you see back there, as well as the Variac, so that should take care of any, uh, should uh, give me a safe startup in case there are any uh, issues. Uh, some of the things I've been uh, working with, I had to get more cable ties, had to get more standoffs. These are brass from, uh, they're just, uh, Pretty nicely made Chinese brass standoffs I uh, got on Amazon. I also got this little standoff kit from Amazon. But let's see, do I want to talk about the, uh, the big issue? I mentioned on DIY Audio that I was hoping to uh, uh, run these amps bridged into my 4 ohm highly inefficient magnaplanar loudspeakers. Nelson Pass just said, don't <laughs> build an F5, it'll work much better. Well, I've already built an F5 and love it, but I want to hear what the F6 sounds like. So uh, maybe I'll just end up running the F5 on the base panels and the F6 on the treble panels. I don't know. The treble ribbons, pardon me. 6L6 on the forum said, the F6 is a pretty ballsy little amplifier. You may just try it and it'll work fine as it is. Uh, it won't play super loud, but you can at least hear what it sounds like. And then uh, one other fellow uh, recommended a, a whole different set of output MOSFETs, which have higher transconductance and would work better in the low impedance load. He also recommended uh, running higher rail voltages, which I feel I've already committed to the 24 volt on the uh, DC. 
and that would also of course put more voltage on the input JFETs, which doesn't sound too healthy to me. So right now I'm still on the fence whether I want to commit to balanced. It's no big deal to wire it up to where I could try it. I'm going to first see whether I like the F6 enough to do a balance hookup for it. And, uh, you know, I have the two other boards. I need to do something with them. But I may just postpone the second F6 for now and maybe think about converting the uh, F5 to a higher powered monoblock and build two of those. Since I like the F5 sound, I, uh, is, at this point I can't fault it much. It sounds very natural and detailed and uh, very unfatiguing to listen to. We'll see. But anyway, uh, that's about where I am right now. I'm sweltering. I'm not going to do much this weekend. I just wanted to give you folks an update. I don't know if I'll even post this this weekend because that would mean going upstairs to the computer room and it's hot up there. I mean, it's already about 80 degrees in my living room and it can only be hotter upstairs. I have five fans going and it's not helping much at all. So anyway, stay cool guys. I'm just, I'm really grateful for all of you guys out there. I appreciate your comments. Hi, this is Robert. This is part two of the video I did previously. I have most of the wiring done er, on the uh, amplifier, at least the power supply wiring. And oh, something is not right. Not sure what it is yet, but uh, anyway, you can see uh, the. Uh, we can see now but I have the uh, uh, primary wiring to the rectifier boards coming in from this side I've got the uh, the output of the rectifier boards going around wrapping around the back and uh, going to the uh, filter boards but anyway what I've done now is uh, I've wired up the transformer. It's in line. So we have the uh, primary side here. And that is hopefully happy. I've got a... Ooh, what is that? What am I looking at? I've just got a bit of a... It looks like my, uh, yeah, my heat shrink didn't shrink enough. So it's, I've got a little bit of uh, insulation showing through. I wanted to have some heat shrink around the uh, primary and secondary wires where they come out just in case they rub against the L bracket here that we've got mounted in the uh, transformer. But anyway, so we now have uh, the AC wires come in go through a thermistor back out to the uh, uh, this is the neutral side here's the uh, 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 line hot side goes through a thermistor comes back out a little capacitor there and then on this side we have the secondaries coming out the blue is the high side of the transformers or pardon me the green is so uh, green is coming out, hot side of the transformer going to this, which is uh, left channel. Blue is the uh, bottom low side of the uh, secondary. Also uh, left channel. This green's at the other end going to the uh, right side, and then the blue in the middle is going to this over here to that side. Anyway, I've got a, uh, I've got uh, things wired up to a uh, very crappy uh, <laughs> uh, 
switch unit I got a while back and never that uh, switch was always loose so I never put it in anything but I've got it wired up the sad thing is when I uh, fired the unit up I lit up the uh, dim bulb tester here I also didn't get any output above 0 0.5 volts so I suspect something's going on in the rectifiers either I have them uh, miswired somehow or I might even have a wrong part in there. I mean, if I got, uh, by accident, I got a uh, common anode instead of common cathode or something like that, it could cause this issue. Basically, uh, uh, the power supply is together, but it needs a bit of troubleshooting. So uh, that's about where I am right now. I know we haven't seen the dim bulb tester work, so... Uh, this will be your chance. So I've got a, a, a meter hooked up to this supply positive. Got this hooked up, plugged into the variac. And as we power it up, you can see we're getting voltage there. You start hearing the transformer hum. There goes the dim bulb. So that's as far as I'm going. Smelled like something got hot there, but I'm not sure what. Still don't know what. I might have something shorting the ground, maybe. Transformer doesn't feel hot. Anyway, so I need to poke around, figure out what I did wrong. That'll do it for now. This is Robert. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thanks to all my subscribers, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.